right y'all so here we are see it again I just washed it starting to turn into my early Saturday morning routine but it's the uh, 2019 RAV4 adventure in the flesh <laughs> um, but what we're gonna be doing today is you see that box down there those are the crossbars and if you watched my previous video the review then you remember that I talked about buying the crossbars from the dealership so today we're gonna to be doing the install so I don't think it's gonna be that difficult I think it's gonna be relatively easy at least based on what the directions show and they didn't give you that much stuff so I'm assuming that that means it's gonna be pretty cut and dry there's a few holes there's a few spots for holes that you basically just take the hole plugs out and I think these you know just essentially screw right into those holes so we're gonna give it a try but let me go ahead and get everything unboxed and uh, yeah stay tuned okay guys here we go and I was gonna go ahead and take everything out of the box but I just pretty much want to show you guys how they come those are crossbars and then here's the bag with all of your uh, necessary uh, tools and uh, screws which like I said that it, it didn't come with a lot you know, I was expecting a lot more but uh, yeah there's essentially like eight screws and then it comes with a Torx uh, screwdriver so it looks pretty cut and dry but I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys everything in the box before I get it all out so yeah okay and one more thing before I get everything unboxed I wanted to show you guys what the holes look like that I'm talking about just in case you are wanting to actually do this yourself I'm trying to stand up on the car but I don't know if you can see that here let me get it yeah but you see those little hole plugs you basically take those hole plugs out and once you take the hole plugs out you line the crossbars up with those and you know screw them right in you've got some on this side too Let's see if you can see those but yeah, you've got that one that one and then you've got some in the front and then you've got the ones on that side in the front so i'll let you guys check those out so yeah like i said it looks like it's going to be a pretty easy job so let's go ahead and get to it okay and one more thing before we get started i just wanted to show you guys this when you when you take these out of the box you've got two sides and you've got arrows let me see i don't know if you can see yeah you've got arrows pointing forward which basically tell you that these need to be facing that direction so it makes it extremely extremely easy but i was a little bit concerned in the beginning because on this side this piece is solid but on this side it moves and i'm going to show you what i'm talking about it you see you see how that moves back and forth i initially thought that those screws needed to be tightened down um, and I was a little bit concerned in, you know at first but then I thought about it and I'm like okay they did it that way because when you go to install them they have to be able to um, let's see and I don't want to scratch it but they have to be able to swivel back and forth in order to get them into place so just uh, just wanted to let you guys know that because I initially thought something was wrong <laughs> you know I was just like ah why are they doing that but they essentially do that because you've got to put them in place and in order to get them into place you've got to uh, be able to move them back and forth but uh, yeah let's go ahead and get this thing started all right y'all I just wanted to go ahead and show you 
the hole plugs come out you know, pretty easily. You basically just you know pop them right out. And uh, here I'll go ahead and do the front ones. Show you how it works. But yeah, pretty pretty seamless. You just pop them right out. And word of caution, the uh, crossbars are actually two different lengths. Um, I didn't know that, so I was kind of nervous, you know, a second ago. But they are two different lengths. The front crossbar is actually longer. You know, I was looking and I was like, man, they sent me the wrong, they sent me the wrong ones, but they didn't. It's just the one on the back is shorter. So, yeah, just wanted to make you guys aware of that. So when you go to open the box, don't worry. They are two different lengths. So, yeah, let's go ahead get these things installed. Actually had to take my dog in the apartment we're out here at the uh we're in the parking lot right now we've got a dog park and she was actually hanging out in the dog park while i do this but someone else came so i went ahead and took her in the apartment but definitely a lot more cut and dry and a lot easier than i initially thought which is a good thing and i'm actually excited for that but let's go ahead and finish up and I'll show you guys the uh, end result. All right, y'all. So here's the finished product. Let's go in closer so you guys can see. But yeah, it was definitely a lot easier than I had initially anticipated. I thought it was gonna be a lot more involved and a lot much more difficult of a process, but it was super easy. Toyota made it really, really um, you know, intuitive. The instructions were easy to follow. Really, you don't even need instructions because it's self-explanatory. But um, yeah, if this is something that you guys are interested in tackling yourself, I got the crossbars through Toyota and I paid 215 plus tax. So, but you know, depending on where tax, how much tax is wherever you are, I paid a little over 230, like 231 and some change uh, for mine. But definitely something that I think improves the look gives it much more of a rugged stance um, on top of the rugged stance that it's already got and if it's something that you guys are interested in trying 
definitely something that I recommend. Not hard at all. Um, again, this was the 2019 Toyota RAV4 Adventure model. And um, definitely feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, I definitely always appreciate the support. If uh, you guys want to subscribe to the channel, please definitely feel free to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll be doing much more videos like this one. And um, you know, leave comments down below if you feel like there's anything that I could have done better or anything that you uh, feel like I might have left out. So again, definitely appreciate the support. And uh, until next time, deuces.